So not only is drumming lots of fun, connecting with others, building community spirit and finding our own rhythm, it's great for our health and mental well-being. And I was reminded of this a few weeks ago when I began to teach my drumming class. After quite a few years, I've had some time out from teaching. And so it really hit me about coordination. And so we're going to explore a few things in this video about drum coordination. So I don't like to call them exercises because exercises means all oh, hard work. It's not like that. I like to call them games. So make them fun. So we're going to explore a few drum coordination games. So I'm Peter Minter from Positive Music. If you really like this video, you find it really helpful, just click the like button, share, and if you really dig it, subscribe to the channel. So quite often, our day-to-day -day activities just concentrates basically on our dominant side. So if we're drinking a cup of tea, writing, whatever, um, brushing our teeth, brushing our hair, we're using more of our dominant side. So the great thing about drumming is that we're using both sides of the body. And what happens is that we stimulate the neuropathways in our brain. And this helps to keep our brain healthy and active. And so anything to keep our brain young and active and vibrant is fantastic. So now let's look at a simple coordination using both of our hands on the hand drum. And you could use any kind of drum. You could use sticks on a drum. It doesn't matter. The whole idea is just getting which hands land together or separate to create a rhythm. So let's go and check it out. So for the first game we're going to play is your dominant hand. So the one that you brush your teeth with is going to be playing the bass and your non-dominant hand is going to be playing the tones. So on the outside of the drum. So the uh, tones we're playing from our first knuckles. Yeah. It's going to go right, left, left, right, left, left. If you're a right-hander, if you're a left-hander, left, right, right, left, right, right. This is what it looks like and sounds like. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to swap it around. So your non-dominant hand is now playing the bass. Your, your, do, your dominant hand, yes that's it, is playing the tones. Same thing, so if you're a right-hander, left, right, right, left, right, right, here we go, one, two, three, four. You notice that when I'm playing, I'm playing really relaxed. There's no tension within my arms or in my hands. I'm just allowing my hands to drop on the drum and naturally rebound off the drum. Also, the tempo that I'm playing is really slow. So if you're a beginner, this is a great place to start just to get those neuro pathways sparking. So now let's check out landing the hands together. So using your dominant hand, for the bass and your non-dominant hand as the tone. Together, left. So if you're right, right hander, it'll be together, left, together, left, together, left. One, two, here we go. Okay, so now we're going to swap it around, non-dominant hand playing the bass and your dominant hand playing the tones. So it'll be, if you're a right-hander, together, right, together, right, together, right. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
So if you find that, oh, this is really weird, that's okay. It's quite normal, especially for those who haven't uh, use both sides of their body for a very long time. It will feel a bit weird, but once you get the hang of it, uh, as I said, the neuro pathways will start to fire and it will become easier and easier. And so in a few weeks time, you'll be able to play rhythms, more syncopated rhythms. Gung, 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 gada, gada, gung, 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 gada, gada. Here we go. One, two, Three, four. Nice simple rhythm, but also using syncopation in there as well. And that's a beautiful rhythm because you're using both parts of the brain to play the bass. Gada, gada, alternating your hands as well. So remember, if you use the drum, Think of it as a game, as fun. No exercises, have fun, all about fun. So now let's check out using our voice and playing a rhythm at the same time, a very simple rhythm. I was reminded of this in our lesson last week in my drumming class, the importance of sounding out, using our voice and playing a rhythm. And I forgot all this and you know, because I've been doing it for years, I just, you know, it just becomes natural. But for beginners, it's really challenging. I wanted to bring this wonderful activity into the drum class because I've, I could see in my participants how uplifting it was to individuals and also to the class as well. So when we vocalize a rhythm, it really helps our breathing our connection with our voice, especially for women who may find it challenging to speak up how they feel. So I'm all for for using the voice and playing a beautiful simple rhythm. And that's where you want to start. Simple, keep it simple. So now let's go and check out a simple vowel over a beautiful simple rhythm that anyone can play. Remember, it's a game, not an exercise, a game. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so now let's explore just using our voice with the drum. And what we can sound out is just syllables. So, ah, is a beautiful um, syllable to sound out. So it helps with our breathing. And so we're just gonna play a simple walking rhythm. So playing, starting with our dominant hand, if you're right-handed, right, left, right, left. And just sounding out, ah. So remember, it's not about singing, it's allowing the sound just to flow out of your mouth, flowing through your body, breathing deeply and just allowing the sound to come out, yeah? So just walking on the bass, Ah, ah. And now you can sound out ooh, it's just a, such a beautiful sound. Ooh. Here we go, you ready? something as simple as that and it just really helps relax the body as well and just having that simple rhythm with the playing the basses on on the drum just helps soothing and helps grounding as well so it's a, a beautiful uh, game to play not exercise game to play so once you feel really comfortable and confident with just walking on the drum 
alternating, going right, left, right, left. Start adding in other rhythms, more of a rhythm. So the, the very first rhythm that I showed you, right, left, left, right, left, left. So once you feel confident and comfortable with that, swap over to your non-dominant hand. Explore, have fun. That's what drumming and making music and, well, being healthy in our mind, body and spirit is all about. Having fun, joy. So I definitely recommend to play these nice and slow because you want to build up your confidence and for some people who haven't used the other side of their body for many many years this can be really challenging so be really gentle with yourself take your time so you could even put on some music to help guide you through a slow um, meditation as well just using both sides of the body. I'll leave a link under here for you to check out some music that is at about 80 beats per minute, which helps slows the mind down. And so you can get into that beautiful meditative state and begin to use both parts of the body, firing those neuro pathways. Healthy brain! So thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you like this video, click the like button, share with your friends, subscribe. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye. Now a little gift from me to you. I wanted to help you out as much as I can. I've added some great hand drum and stick drum rhythms in my ebook called Seven Easy Steps to Develop Rhythm, Technique, Timing and Feel. It's filled with lots of rhythms and musical tips for beginners and intermediates to help you take your playing to the next level. This is my gift to you and a wonderful resource that can accompany on your rhythmical journey. So you can grab your copy absolutely free. Just go to positivemusic.com.au forward slash free djembe drumming and download it right there and then. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the videos. I'll see you on the next video and take care.